All right, I'm installing my tank level meters. These are the senders that read the level of fluid inside of my fresh or gray water tank. These are the ones for the fresh water tank. And I'm going through the programming of it right now. This is what I've got right here. Sea level two tank monitor model 709P3W. And then these are 710ES senders and I am using two of them for each tank. Um, these two have already been cut to size. They were originally this long. You cut them down in between these these gaps in the sensors to whatever size you need. And since I'm doing two of them for each tank, I have a top and a bottom one. And in order to tell which side is the top, we have these uh, tabs here. So this is the tab you cut for black water tank. Um, I don't remember what TC is. I think that's if you make a mistake. Um, top is if it's the top um, sender on a two sender system. This is the gray. Oh, that's the gray tank. And I think this one's also for if I make a mistake. But uh, yeah. So one of these will get cut right at the top. The other one is going to be exactly like this because it's a fresh water, so you don't cut any tabs for fresh water. And uh, yeah, it's a little nerve wracking, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so here on my 16 inch tall uh, fresh water tank, I have the top and the bottom attached firmly to the side of the tank with you know, it, you need at least one inch of distance from any metal on either side and at least two inches of clearance from the top. So I think I've got that and uh, it's nice and flush against the side. You can see that this one has nothing cut because it is either the single fresh uh, <clears throat> circuit board or the bottom fresh circuit board. And this one, I've cut the top so we've got the top um, fresh circuit board sender. And so I'm just kind of pushing it carefully, making sure not to hurt anything, making sure that it's got good contact with the side of my tank in a nice clean area. And next thing I gotta do is connect these wires together and to this cord that goes to the computer that reads the level. Alright, finding the proper clearances for this tank was a little bit tougher because my fuel tank is right here, but I found a place that's got enough clearance. So this is the gray bottom, and up here is the gray top. All right, the final step in this installation of my tank senders is to coat them with a protective coating. I've got truck bed liner, but you could also use undercoating. Um, but it says in the instructions that once everything's mounted and ready to kind of protect it, you can just spray a coat of this stuff or undercoating right over the top of it to protect it from debris and dirt. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Here's my freshwater tank. Um, this is kind of temporary, holding the wires in place. I'm going to figure out a better solution later. Or never. You never know. Um, but I'm all done with everything, so again, to, cut, to protect it, I'm using truck bed liner. I'm just going to give it a spray. should be plenty. Let that dry and uh, that's good. I've got my senders wired in so and calibrated according to the instructions. My fresh tank reads zero, gray tank reads zero, black tank reads open meaning there is no sender, LP gas also zero. My battery, it says, is at 14.8. That's not as accurate as this battery thing, which 
well, 14.9, pretty close. Yeah. Um, so that thing is all done. All of my tank senders are, all the information I really need to know about my bus is there now, which is pretty cool. Let's take a look at the wiring a little. I know it's kind of a uh, spaghetti. Um, here's the LP gas. One wire connects to the uh, the common ground the tank sender. Also, one black wire connecting to the common ground. On the LP gas, the red comes down and connects to the green wire. And on the tank senders, the red comes down and connects to the blue wire. And all the senders are attached to the same wire. So it's a little bit of a mess in here. Uh, just kind of been adding to it as I go. Uh, I don't even know if I really want to show this part of the bus, but yeah.